It was billed as the storm of a lifetime. And as the extent of the damage becomes slowly more clear, it is looking devastating. Port Villa, the capital of this archipelago, is home to 45,000 people. The storm struck a direct hit, the worst possible path across the most densely populated part of the city. The streets here are deserted. People knew it was coming, and so preparations were put in place. All 267,000 of, of uh, Vanuatu's population have been affected by this, regardless of socioeconomic status or, or where they were. Um, you know, at, at midnight, the storm reached its peak uh, speeds, um, and it was, it was like a, a beast had been unleashed. A red alert to seek shelter immediately was issued to all mobile phones via text message. A landline relay to outlying islands was also made. Still, in this Y-shaped chain of 83 islands, many people will not have been able to move far. Most housing in Vanuatu is very flimsy, a, a lot of corrugated iron, a lot of um, very, very weak wood. So as soon as that wind whipped up last night, those houses would have been blown away. Today, we've only counted 1,500 people in an evacuation centre in Port Vila. That leaves tens of thousands of people uh, unprotected from that type of storm. One of the many waiting for news is Tanya Cook. She runs a holiday resort on one of the islands with her husband, Cameron, and she's not heard from him. I'm feeling absolutely helpless and in despair. I'm feeling pretty gut-wrenched. I'm hoping he's OK, and I'm hoping that everyone else there are OK. We've got family there and a lot of beautiful people that I'd love to get back to and see. It doesn't matter how much you can prepare, there's only so much you can do. It was going to hit. It was going to hit hard, so he was definitely concerned and, and worried, and I had planned on talking to him shortly after, but then the phone's cut off. As the storm passed, tourists sheltered where they could, here at a convention centre. The power of the wind was clear even inside. The Australian Red Cross said the humanitarian needs are enormous. As always, shelter, food and water are urgent priorities. They will come from New Zealand, a thousand miles to the south, and Australia to the southwest. We are deeply concerned by reports that lives have been lost in northern Vanuatu. There are destructive winds, rain, flooding, landslides, sea surges and um, very rough seas. And the storm is exceedingly destructive there. Communications are still down in the northern half of the archipelago, and so the extent of the damage is still not clear. But already, aid agencies are talking of widespread destruction.